Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I had somebody sent me a brief comment asking how you, they can get uh, Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1 working on MX Linux. And I thought that'd just be a nice little video as uh, it won't take me much time to do, um, just to show you. So uh, what we did here is I just booted this up into MX Linux. Of course, this is going to work on any XFCE desktop. This one just happens to be MX Linux, the very distribution that I was asked about. Now, uh, there is a configuration file that you can edit in the terminal, which I believe should work for any Linux distribution. Um, but we're going to show you how to do it in the GUI first, and then we will show you how to do it in the terminal later. So again, if you are on XFCE and you want to change your DNS, maybe you want to use Google's 8.8.8.8, Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1, you know, etc. This is going to help you out. So what we're going to do is uh, you need your network configuration. So on MX Linux by default, it's right here on the panel. You can also get to it by searching and looking for your network connections. Now before we do this, I'm going to show you, um, we always got to do some controls and stuff. So since Facebook is blocked on my network, if I try and go to Facebook right now, it is not going to load. Uh, this is because my network blocks Facebook. Now, if I change my DNS from going through my router's DNS onto an external DNS, I will be able to load Facebook. So that's going to be our positive control, just to let you know if it's working. So we're going to come down here. You're going to right-click on your network manager, and what we want to do is we want to edit connections. All right. So we get this screen here, which is just giving us the list of connections. In this case, I have one wired connection. So you want to highlight your wired connection and edit this. So we need to change the IPv4 settings in here. Of course, IPv6, if you're using that, most people are still using IP, IVP, IPv4, my apologies. So we want to come down and find this additional DNS servers and type in what you want to use. So he wants to use Cloudflare's, which is 1.1.1.1, which has a backup of 1.0.0.1. You want to make sure you're using both of them. So for Google, I think it's uh, 8888 and 8844, I think. There's 9999 and 9944 is another one that you could use. And so the next thing we need to do is under method, automatic means it's going to just add these DNS servers to the existing, which is my router's configuration. And I don't want it to do that. So I do want to come down here and go addresses only. So changing this to addresses only will only allow these two DNS servers. We're going to save this, and then the next thing we actually have to do is we are going to have to reset the network. So if I were to actually boot this up, it may still not be using the right DNS. So I'm going to come down here, disconnect. That was a left click to pull up this screen. We're going to disconnect the network. You'll notice that we are disconnected. And then we can come down here and reconnect to our wired. And now if I boot this up, then we should be able now to access Facebook.com. So we are now moving outside of my network's DNS, uh, which I use for filtering and things like that. And now I can actually move beyond that and we can access Facebook.com. All right, so we're going to undo that now. So we're going to do another right click, edit the connections, go back down here and go back to IVP4, clear this back out, change this to automatic, basically redo everything. And by the way, I, I am closing the web browser in here because if you keep the web browser open, the browser will also cache your DNS. So you need to make sure you close your web browser. So now if I come back up here and go Facebook, you'll see that we are now not able to connect. All right, so uh, this me that method there will work uh, for any XFCE because it uses that network manager. Most network managers, uh, GNOME, Cinnamon, whatever, are very similar. Um, I like uh, Cinnamon because you have an, uh, just a toggle button there that'll turn on, turn off the network. So there's a few, a uh, couple fewer steps. And now we're going to do it through the terminal, which this should work for any Linux distribution. We want to boot up a terminal. And inside of our terminal, what we are going to do is we need to edit the configuration files. So we're going to go with sudo um, to get super user because this is a configuration file. Nano, which is a, uh, an easy to use editor. And in the Etsy director, we want to go to resolve config dash uh, resolve.conf.d forward slash head. This is going to load up this file. It does tell us not to 
uh, change the file. That's because if there is an update to this, then it could overwrite it. Um, we should be safe adding this in. So in this file, we want to go name server space 1.1.1.1 and then a new line name server 1.0.0.1. All right, I'm going to control X and hit Y and enter to save that file. And then what we are going to do now is reload the file. So sudo resolve conf dash u and this is going to reset everything. So now if I come into our uh, thing here, now you'll see that we can access Facebook even though inside of our network connections this guy here is still not showing up as any DNS servers. That's because it is now being controlled by that file. So of course to undo that, let's just go ahead and jump back into here, clear these guys back out, and then rerun this one. And now Facebook should now be blocked again. All right, so that is how you can change your DNS settings on MX Linux, XFCE, and probably other Linux distributions as well. Thanks for coming along, and uh, we will catch you later.